Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to Super Mario World. Today I'm going to go after the Green Switch Palace because the green blocks are amazing. Alright, so then. I do not want this thing ah, tagging my face while I'm a... Uh... Anyway, this thing is weirdly punitive. Like, if you don't go across when I did when you're blind about what's on the other side, it, uh, kills you. No? Okay. Plonk. I don't have a whole lot to say about this level. It's an auto-scroller that terrified me when I was a kid. What is this, Donut Plains 2 or something? Oh no! I don't recognize this part. Which means I've never been here before in spite of how many times I've actually played through this level. What's going on here now? So if you go too early on this, you'll get crushed. Okay, so... That's all the, uh, dragon coins, which I've never gotten all of them in a single run of this before. Huh. Weird. I missed the path to the secret exit. Well, in spite of having played this game, eh, probably three or four times, I experienced something new today. So that's what, three? Four. One, two, three. Oh, there's the fourth one. I forgot to count the diagonal going from the top left to bottom right. The Donut Ghost House. But no, what I want is the green switch palace. Ah, why? Oh, oh gosh, I forgot this wasn't Super Mario Brothers X and that you can totally replace your awesome drop-down power-up with a mushroom. Oh, thank goodness. So the question is, where is the secret exit? Oh no, did I miss it here? No! I'm pretty sure I need the... Uh... uh cape to get the secret exit. Okay. Come on, cape. Heck yeah, cape. With your infinite spinning power. Oh, 
Okay, not this one. I'm pretty sure this is meant to be a clue. Okay, I was just in the wrong position. Again, these pipes are a lot less generous out where you can enter them than the Sumari Brothers X pipe. No! Why? Oh, hey. If I brought a Yoshi, I could get... Wow, picky. Okay, so I don't know why I thought, right, right, I thought I was going to need to fly up and that I was going to need the space with that football person in order to get enough space to fly. All right, Green Switch Palace. Whoops. Oh well. Yay, one extra life. Alright. Thanks to the Switch Palace, green outlines will become green exclamation blocks. It always weirded me out how the yellow blocks give you mushrooms, the green blocks give you feathers, and the red blocks give you nothing. Alright, so. Donut secret. Shh, it's a secret to everyone. Whoa. Oh, hey. Heck yeah, I'm taking a power-up that gives me any kind of offensive capabilities underwater. Oh, right. I can't toss fireballs starting on an upward arc by pressing up. Do, 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 do. My least favorite power-up in any Mario game ever. Okay, is there a reason why I'd want that particular... Oh. Probably because... Oh, what? Huh. How odd. Oh, well. Oh, these fireballs feel like they go really fast. Eh, since I'm here, I may as well... Sheesh, up and down have a way outsized impact on your momentum here compared with, again, Super Mario Brothers X. Also, I love the fast swimming. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab this and fast swim over in this direction. Hmm. Okay, so. Yeah, key. Okay, so then. Up next is the Donut Secret House. I'd better get the standard exit for this before I, uh... Before I move on. Yes. Again, not a speed run. I do intend to get all the exits. Yeah. 
Even if I don't intend to get all the dragon coins. I remember how weird it was that uh, the Game Boy Advance version required you to get all the dragon coins in order to uh, unlock what you get in this version by... Uh, come on, brain. There's a complete thought there. Whee! But yeah, in this version of the game, by going through the secret world? Accessed via Star Road. You get this cool bonus of recoloring and reshaping the enemies. I am sad that that mushroom disappeared. In the Game Boy Advance version, for some reason, you have to collect every dragon coin in the game to get that. And that has a nifty extra cutscene. I remember my first experience with this game was my cut one of my cousins showing it to me. And this was like the first level they showed me. Oh. My bad. Okay, so... This is such a weird use to me for the... Uh, oh, hey! I can bounce high on this just by holding the jump button instead of having to time it. That seems to me to be such a weird use of the... Uh, P-switch. Okay, so what's this? After so much Super Mario Brothers X, I'm so happy that mushrooms in this game just always go right. Always go right. There are five entrances to the Star World in Dinosaur Land. Find them all and you can travel between many different places. Okay, so... I forget exactly how this place works, but I remember this existing. Oh, hey, look at that. Right, I don't need to tap down in order to pick up the, uh, blocks below me. I can see why a popular thing among ROM hackers is to change up this fight, because who was? It's simple. I think it's mostly designed to scare you. Save! And now? I'm going to get the standard exit. One time, after I started playing this game, I wound up going to a flea market at some point. And they had old copies of Nintendo Power. I was so elated to discover that they had the Nintendo Power that covered this. Like, I can't remember if it was one issue or two, but they had the Nintendo Power that covered this game. I was so elated because, like, I was playing this game years after it came out. Okay, so. question is, why am I being so bad at this? Oh, 
And that's the end of recording for today. Join me next time when I go to Star Place. <sighs> See what it looked like before a sword crashed through it. I will see you then.